would like to take you on a magical journey to the mystical desert island. A place where you can go anytime you wish. A place which you can go for meditation, relaxation and upliftment. Please make sure that the telephone is switched off and that no one disturbs you. Find a comfortable place to rest and close your eyes. When you are ready, I shall begin. Imagine yourself in a bubble of white light. The light is soft and soothing all around you. Inside this bubble, you feel safe, secure and comfortable. Nothing outside of this bubble can distract you or interfere with your relaxation. If unwanted thoughts begin to enter your mind as you are beginning to relax, acknowledge them and then let them go. Focusing yourself once more on the music and the sound of my voice. Imagine roots coming out from your feet and anchoring you in the earth below, making you at one with Mother Nature. As the white light increases around you, you begin to feel more and more relaxed. Breathe in the white light. Visualize your body filling with its calming energy. Let all your worries and anxieties drift away and be cleansed by the light. You are at peace, your thoughts still and your body resting. We are now ready to enter the mystical desert island. Picture in front of you a large door. The door is closed. It is made of oak and is very old. It has the appearance of a castle door. This door leads to another place in which your imagination is your only constraint. Walk towards the door. As you get to it, you notice a wrought iron door handle. Reach out and turn it until the door opens. Push the door so it is completely open. You are greeted by a low level mist. From this moment on, you should feel yourself becoming increasingly calm and relaxed. As you look through the doorway, you see a set of steps which descend downwards into white mist. You will need to go down. I will guide you. One. Two. You are shrouded in white mist. It is cool and moist upon your face. It begins to clear, and as it does so, you notice that large palm trees are starting to become visible to your left. To your right, you can see a calm, bright blue sea, and the sun is high in the sky. You are on a beautiful beach, and you are the only presence here. The sun is shining, and you feel the warmth of the sun on your face. And you can hear the gentle waves lapping on the shore. You feel revitalized, and you have a strong sense of happiness in this place. 
You feel that you've been waiting all your life to visit this place. And you feel uplifted and invigorated. For this place is welcoming you. The last of the mist has disappeared. And now you are alone on this beautiful desert island. You notice that there are large flowers and plants at the edge of the palm jungle. The flowers are bright colours of yellow and red, and their shades are vibrant. They resemble some of the most fantastic and beautiful of the orchid species. Their smell is so sweet, and their aroma fills your sinuses. You take in a deep breath and let the goodness circulate around you. As you marvel at these unusual and breathtaking specimens, you notice the sounds coming from the jungle itself. There are all types of exotic birds which can be heard singing, and this fills you with such pleasure. The sense of excitement is overwhelming as you want to enter into the jungle, but you remain on the sandy beach for now. As you walk away from the steps from which you have come, you become more aware of the beauty of this island and you feel more and more at home here. You feel the sand under your bare feet and you can feel its warmth from being heated by the sun. As you look around you, you notice many different types of seashells which have been washed ashore. They come in a variety of colours, from white to brown to grey. You stop for a moment. Just in front of you, you notice something glinting in the sunlight. You walk over to the object and you see that it is a golden coin. You pick it up from the white warm sand and you notice it has a picture on it. The picture is of an exotic looking building or temple. You look at the other side of the coin and you see that there is a mystical symbol of some kind. The symbol is whatever you imagine it to be. The coin fills you with curiosity and you wonder what this could mean. But you instinctively know that it is good and that no harm will come to you in this place. You feel that you need to hold on to it. You look up again and look towards the tree line of the lush forest. You notice that there is a sandy path leading into the trees. A path that wasn't there before. The edges are lined with coconut shells. With the coin still grasped in your hand, you feel an urge to follow the path into the trees. As you walk towards the opening, you are once more immersed in the aroma of large flowers at the edge of the tree line. As you walk, you pass these beautiful orchids, and as you look at them, you can see a tiny hummingbird gathering nectar from the center of one of the flowers. You stop and look at him in wonder. 
He is vivid blue with light green tinges and he has a long beak with which he is gathering his nectar. His wings are beating so fast that you can hardly see them. It's almost as if he is hovering there. The bird is completely unfazed by your presence as he knows that you are there as a friend and you wish him no harm. As you watch the bird, you are suddenly aware of another presence near you. You see in front of you a bird of paradise with its beautifully flowing yellow and white feathers perched on a branch of a small tree. He has a bright green head with a black breast and deep red wings. With bright yellow flowing to white tail feathers. He is looking at you and you feel a bond with this bird. You instinctively know that he wants you to follow him. As you walk towards him, he flies to another tree and waits for you. You walk towards the bird and as you do, you are once again aware of how happy and content you feel at this moment. The sweet scent of flowers, the sounds of the birds, and the sight of this magnificent forest with its colourful inhabitants is enough to make you feel happier than ever and alive with vitality. You make your way over to the bird and once again he flies off in front of you, but further this time, so you can just make out his colours through the trees and bushes. As you get closer to the bird, you see that he is perched on an ancient looking obelisk, which is not much taller than you. You make your way towards it. As you draw closer, you can see that there are other obelisks of the same style which seem to mark the corners of something. There are four of them and they seem to be laid out in a large square. The obelisks are slightly elevated on a mound of some kind, so you still cannot see the ground between them. As you move closer, you can see that the mound upon which they are standing is in fact a platform, which has steps on each side which are now hardly recognisable due to the dense vegetation which has taken its toll on the structure. By now, you are next to the obelisk with the bird perched upon it. And you now notice that the four structures mark the corners of a crystal clear pool which is now by your feet. The pool looks to have a glow to it, and it is inviting. There are steps which lead into it. You feel the urge to paddle in this tranquil place, so you follow the steps into the pool, and instantly feel the warmth and energy of the water around your feet. You sense that this pool is sacred in some way, and that you are yielding to its natural healing powers. Although only your feet are immersed in its water, you can feel your whole body being subjected to the energizing and magical forces of the pool. You can feel your whole body tingling with the sensation of well-being. You can feel a warmth which reaches right into your very being, immersing you in a state of absolute euphoria. You feel fitter and healthier than you ever have done before and you revel in this newfound rejuvenated state of mind. You can feel yourself starting to rise out from the pool as if by magic. You are now floating on air and you don't have a care in the world. You feel that you can 
could live forever. As you float through the air, you look at the forest's canopy high above you and notice that there are tiny points of light shining through the leaves. These points of light suddenly begin to become beams of light, focusing all their warmth on you. You feel content and the warmth from the shards of light fills your soul with happiness so that any stresses and troubles are but a distant memory. You can feel the good energy flowing through your body and you feel a magical sense of well-being. You now slowly start to come back down to the forest floor. The magical energy which gave you flight has now brought you back to the ground. The bird of paradise is still with you as he is your guide. You can see him perched on a nearby branch. As you look over to him, he once again takes flight above another coconut-lined path, which you never noticed before. You follow him once more. As you continue your journey with the bird, he leads you through the trees. And you can see a sandy colored structure in front of you. The bird comes to a stop just outside of the building. You can see that this temple-like structure has been here for hundreds or thousands of years, and it has almost become part of the forest. You can also see large vine-like branches stretching all over its facade. But the building still looks impressive in its majesty. As you draw closer, you can see an entranceway. Above it sits the bird of paradise. And above the bird, you can see a large symbol etched into the wall of the building. The symbol you recognize from the coin, which you still have. You wonder what the significance is of this coin and of this place. You notice that the entrance 
is flanked by two stone statues. They stand, one each side of the entranceway, guarding the stone door. They are ancient guardians, but they are not in any way threatening. You can picture them in any way that you feel comfortable. The statue on the right has his right hand outstretched as if he was asking for something. And in the outstretched hand is a small round indent, which looks to be around the same size as the coin which you still hold. You feel that you should put the coin, or token as it now seems, into the palm of the statue's hand. As you place it into the hand, the statue suddenly moves into life and grasps the token. He steps down from the platform upon which he was standing and turns his back on you to open the large stone door. He pushes the door inwards with hardly any effort and as he does, beckons you inside. He wishes you to follow him. You have no fear Instead, you are filled with curiosity and excitement and you know that no harm can come to you in this place. You walk through the open doorway and you can see that this temple is ancient and yet inviting. The inside is brightly lit with fire torches on all of the walls. You can see golden effigies of fantastic and magnificent dragons on each side of the temple. These magnificent golden creatures made even more amazing by the glare of the torches. You can see that their eyes are made from the most beautiful rubies that you have ever seen. They sparkle in the light of the fire torches and you look at them in wonder. The statue beckons you further into the temple and leads you to another pool, but this time there is a fountain in the centre of it. But this fountain is like no other that you have seen before for it has an ethereal blue glow which seems to immerse the whole temple in blue light. The closer you get to it, the more alive you feel. You walk over to the edge of the pool and place your hand into the water. And as you do, you can feel a stronger energy than you felt before flowing into your body which fills you with even more vitality. You can feel this newfound energy flow through every part of your body, making you feel stronger than ever, and more able to take on any problems which come your way, both physically and mentally. You feel that you can achieve any feat in the world, and all problems that were once a worry are now but a small insignificant obstacle that you know you can overcome. You can see your reflection in the surface of the water and you notice that you look younger and physically stronger than before. This is your inner self looking back at you. This fountain is no ordinary fountain. It is special and it is for you to come and visit whenever you feel the need. This is your very own fountain of youth. You can use this time to think of things past or of anything that you wish. I will leave you for a moment so that you may enjoy the music in the atmosphere.
You look about you and notice that the guardian statue is no longer with you, but is walking back to the doorway from which you came. He has fulfilled his obligation to you, for the token which you found was your entry to the fountain of youth. You look back towards the fountain and notice that the vivid blue glow has waned and that you feel you are ready to leave now that you have regained your vitality and are in a rejuvenated state of mind. Once again, the mist starts to rise up from the ground. It is now time to leave this place of wonder. As the mist envelops the fountain and surrounding temple, you are completely immersed in it, so that you see nothing but white mist. In front of you, you start to see the outline of the stone steps and the doorway Walk towards it. As you get closer, they appear clearer, and now this is all you can see. You are now at the foot of the steps. I will guide you back up them. One. Two, three, four, and five. You are now at the top of the steps, and the door is still open from when you came in. Walk through the doorway, but as you do so, you grab the handle and pull the door. And you close it behind you. This door symbolizes the gateway to your imagination and you can open this door whenever you feel like it. You should now feel calm, at peace and full of hope for your future. You are now ready to return to our world. Start with moving your fingers, then your toes. Take a deep breath, and when you are ready, open your eyes. I hope you have enjoyed this meditation.